As we approach the final days of 2024, the space industry is buzzing with transformative developments. Crew-10's mission timeline shifts, bringing new scheduling challenges to the International Space Station. Meanwhile, SpaceX is breaking new ground, bringing Starlink connectivity directly to your smartphone. And in a bold move, Axiom Space accelerates their ambitious plans for humanity's next home in orbit. The International Space Station's planned retirement in 2030 might seem distant, but NASA is already crafting its next chapter in space exploration. The agency's latest strategy reveals a fascinating shift. While setting their sights on Mars and deep space exploration, they're simultaneously working to ensure humanity maintains a permanent presence in low Earth orbit. The plan? Transform low Earth orbit into a thriving commercial space economy with multiple private space stations serving as stepping stones for our journey to Mars. These next generation stations will be more than just replacements. They'll be proving grounds for the technologies that will carry us deeper into space than ever before. This week's developments are shaping up to be some of the most significant steps yet in this ambitious transition. From groundbreaking commercial partnerships to new technological milestones, we're watching history unfold in real time. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The future of space exploration is unfolding before our eyes, and it's more dramatic than anyone could have predicted. NASA's bold vision for the post-ISS era reveals something profound. We're not just planning to maintain human presence in space, we're preparing for the greatest journey in human history. Every decision, every innovation is building toward that monumental goal of reaching Mars. Picture this, floating 250 miles above Earth, astronauts are already testing the limits of human endurance. NASA's analysis shows that these six month to year long missions are just the beginning. The real challenge, Mars missions that could keep astronauts in space for years at a time. Each day spent on the ISS is teaching us vital lessons about surviving in the harshness of space. From the effects of microgravity on the human body to the psychological challenges of long-duration spaceflight. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. While NASA has been meticulously planning this transition, Axiom Space dropped a bombshell that sent ripples through the space community. Their announcement of an accelerated timeline, launching their independent station two years ahead of schedule, isn't just ambitious, it's revolutionary. Behind the scenes, engineers at Thales Selenia Space are working around the clock, literally rebuilding spacecraft modules to meet this aggressive new timeline. The pressure is immense. One miscalculation could set the entire project back months. The drama doesn't end there. Vast Space, a relative newcomer to the field, made an audacious move by securing a deal with SpaceX for two crewed missions to the ISS. This isn't just about business. It's about proving they have what it takes to join the elite club of space station operators. The stakes? Billions of dollars in the future of commercial space exploration. Meanwhile, a technological breakthrough is silently revolutionizing how we communicate. Starlink's direct-to-sell capability is turning science fiction into reality. Imagine being stranded in the remotest corner of the world, no cell towers in sight, yet still able to send a message for help all thanks to a constellation of satellites orbiting overhead. T-Mobile and New Zealand's 1NZ are pioneering this technology, though it comes with its own set of challenges. Messages can take up to 10 minutes to deliver, an eternity in our instant messaging world. But this is just the beginning. The competition in space is intensifying, particularly from China. Their latest launch of the Long March 5B rocket wasn't just another mission. It was a statement of intent. 10 Guang satellites, part of their answer to Starlink, soared into orbit aboard their most powerful rocket. But here's what makes this launch truly remarkable. They've solved the problem that once made headlines worldwide, the uncontrolled re-entry of massive rocket stages. A new upper stage design ensures these massive pieces of hardware return to Earth safely and predictably. In a dramatic display of human achievement, Chinese astronauts shattered the previous spacewalk record, spending an astonishing nine hours and six minutes working in the vacuum of space. Every minute was a testament to human endurance and technological advancement. As they installed debris protection panels, they weren't just maintaining their station, they were protecting humanity's future in space. The story takes another turn with SpaceX's Rapid Response Trailblazer mission. 
In an industry where satellite launches typically take years to plan, SpaceX accomplished something extraordinary, compressing the entire process into just months. This wasn't just about launching another GPS satellite. It was about proving that space operations can be as agile as they are reliable. Europe's space industry is undergoing its own revolution. At Ariane Group, engineers are pushing the boundaries of rocket technology with their Themis prototype. This isn't just another rocket, it's Europe's answer to the reusability revolution started by SpaceX. The stakes couldn't be higher, either adapt to this new reality or risk becoming irrelevant in the modern space race. But perhaps the most intriguing development is happening at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, where Rocket Lab is building something extraordinary. Their Neutron launch site isn't just a pad, it's a glimpse into the future of space launch technology. The upper deck alone required 160 tons of steel, enough to build a small skyscraper. Every weld, every bolt, every component is designed to withstand forces that would tear apart lesser structures. The commercial space race has reached a fever pitch. SSES's latest satellite deployment faced a critical challenge, power issues that threatened to derail their entire constellation. But in a remarkable display of engineering prowess, they didn't just fix the problem, they completely redesigned their satellites. This isn't just about maintaining service, it's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space technology. These developments aren't happening in isolation, they're all interconnected, painting a picture of humanity's greatest adventure. As we watch these events unfold, we're witnessing more than just technological advancement. We're seeing the birth of a new era in human spaceflight. Each launch, each spacewalk, each new station design brings us one step closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. The race to establish commercial space stations has become a high-stakes game of strategy and innovation. NASA's requirement for long-duration missions has sparked a wave of creativity in the private sector. Companies aren't just building replacements for the ISS, they're designing the harbors that will support humanity's expansion into the solar system. These stations will be more than just scientific outposts. They'll be the stepping stones to Mars and beyond. The impact of these developments extends far beyond the space industry. Every breakthrough in satellite technology, every advance in space station design, brings us closer to a future where space is not just accessible, but integral to our daily lives. From emergency communications in remote areas to new manufacturing possibilities in zero gravity, the benefits of this space revolution will touch every aspect of human civilization. As we look toward 2025, the landscape of space exploration continues to evolve at an unprecedented pace. From SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule to NASA's strategic vision for life beyond the ISS, we're witnessing a pivotal moment in human spaceflight. The coming weeks promise even more excitement. Blue Origin's New Glenn preparing for its hot fire test, potential Starship launches on the horizon, and a series of crucial missions that could reshape our understanding of space exploration. The transition from government-led space programs to a thriving commercial space economy isn't just about building new stations or launching more rockets. It's about expanding humanity's presence beyond Earth. Each development we've covered today represents another step toward making space more accessible, sustainable, and integral to our future. If you want to stay at the forefront of these exciting developments in space exploration, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this update informative and share your thoughts about these developments in the comments below. Your engagement helps our community grow and keeps you informed about the latest breakthroughs in space technology. Though we'll be taking a brief holiday break, we'll return in the new year with an in-depth look at what 2025 holds for space exploration. Until then, keep watching the skies. The future of space is unfolding right before our eyes. Thank you for watching Elon Musk 24 Hours. Breaking news from SpaceX has just turned the aerospace industry on its head. Despite the FAA's announcement pushing Starship's next launch window into 2025, SpaceX might have found a brilliant way to get Starship back in the air before this year ends. The story gets even better. 
Flight 7 isn't just another test launch. It's shaping up to be the most ambitious Starship mission yet, featuring the first ever controlled landing attempt and the debut of SpaceX's new version 2 hardware. The excitement hit fever pitch on December 15th when Elon Musk announced the successful static fire test of the first Block 2 Starship, a clean, flawless firing that signals SpaceX is ready for their next giant leap. With both the ship and Booster 14 proving their worth in ground tests, SpaceX is racing against the clock to potentially deliver a Christmas Eve spectacle that could rewrite the rules of spacecraft turnaround times. What makes this mission truly exceptional isn't just its timing, it's the groundbreaking technology that could finally see both stages of the world's largest rocket return safely to Earth. This isn't just about launching rockets anymore, it's about revolutionizing how we access space. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in SpaceX's journey to transform space travel. Let's dive right in. The race against time at Starbase has taken an unexpected turn. As engineers worked through the night on December 15th, the first Block 2 Starship roared to life, its engines painting the Texas sky with a brilliant orange glow. But this wasn't just another test. It was a moment that could reshape the future of space travel. Inside the control room, the tension was palpable as years of innovation and countless sleepless nights culminated in this crucial moment. The story of Flight 7 began months earlier in the aftermath of Flight 6's partial success. While the world saw a spectacular launch and unprecedented height achievement inside SpaceX, a small team of engineers had already identified a critical opportunity. They discovered that subtle modifications to the flight control systems could dramatically improve the vehicle's stability during descent, a finding that would prove instrumental in what was to come. The regulatory landscape seemed set to delay progress when the FAA announced their 2025 timeline. But SpaceX had an ace up their sleeve. Working quietly behind the scenes, they'd been coordinating with the FCC on a broader launch window strategy. The breakthrough came when they demonstrated that their planned modifications wouldn't significantly alter the mission profile, effectively streamlining the approval process. Deep within Starbase's Mammoth Assembly Building, Ship 34 stands as a testament to relentless innovation. Its gleaming hull contains over 103 specific improvements from previous versions, each meticulously tested and refined. The lead engineer, speaking on condition of anonymity, revealed that some of these changes were inspired by observations of how birds maintain stability during steep dives. Nature's own re-entry vehicles. The stakes couldn't be higher. NASA's involvement in monitoring the re-entry isn't just about gathering data, it's about validating Starship's potential role in the Artemis program. Sources within the space agency suggest that a successful landing could accelerate their lunar timeline by as much as 18 months. The Australian Civil Aviation Safety Authority's participation adds another layer of international scrutiny and validation. But the real drama unfolds in the catching mechanism for the super heavy booster. The engineering team faced a seemingly impossible challenge, how to safely catch a 230-foot tall rocket traveling at considerable speed. Their solution combines advanced AI-driven predictive algorithms with a revolutionary dampening system. During recent testing, this system demonstrated an ability to adjust to wind variations in milliseconds, faster than human reflection. The pressure mounted when internal sensors during Ship 33's recent static fire test revealed unexpected data patterns. This discovery led to a series of rapid innovations in the propulsion system, culminating in what one senior engineer called the most significant breakthrough in rocket engine design since the invention of the stage combustion cycle. These improvements promise not just better performance, but a level of reliability that seemed impossible just months ago. Meanwhile, the construction of Booster 15 has become a masterclass in precision engineering. Using new automated welding techniques, teams have achieved unprecedented structural integrity. The booster's methane tank, completed ahead of schedule, incorporates a revolutionary internal baffling system that reduces propellant slosh by an astounding 47% compared to previous designs. The human element of this story can't be overlooked. At Starbase, engineers have been working in rotating shifts, some staying on site for days at a time. 
One team member shared how they celebrated their child's birthday via video call while monitoring critical test data. These personal sacrifices underscore the dedication driving this program forward. The development of the refueling system has become another crucial piece of the puzzle. Initial tests revealed challenges with propellant transfer and simulated zero-gravity conditions. The breakthrough came from an unexpected source, a junior engineer's observation of how surface tension affects liquid behavior in the International Space Station's water recycling system. This insight led to a complete redesign of the transfer mechanism, resulting in a system that's both more efficient and more reliable. Ship 35's construction brings another level of innovation. Its nose cone incorporates a new composite material that